Back at it once again, Instant Classic 8 here as usual for thoughts, pay-per-view thoughts. Um, first things first, Great American Bash was tonight, of course. Now, normally, I do my review, but considering everything that went down tonight, I cannot do my, I can't do a full review, mainly because I have not seen the entire pay-per-view. I went out with friends, we went to Hooters, free pay-per-view, of course, but uh, as soon as the pay-per-view was going to start, DirecTV cut out, and we were without a feed for like almost an hour, so I missed a lot of stuff, so I really don't want to give a full review. Um, also, me being in the atmosphere I was, and being with my friends, and being all these people, I don't want to give it star ratings or anything like that. I'll just give my thoughts, you know, what I think about it. Um, at first, I didn't see the opening tag, but I just came home, and I popped on the stream. I saw it. It was okay. Actually, I didn't really like it. Uh, it was, was one thing. I forgot what it was in there, but honestly, I I, I, turn, I tuned away from the match. I had it going. I started watching it, and then just other things started running through my mouth. So I was like, you know, what's the point? Shelton Benjamin, Matt Hardy, didn't see that. I hear, well, I see that Shelton Benjamin won, which is pretty cool. So I guess we'll see Shelton with the U.S. title on SmackDown. By the way, this was pretty uh, weird to watch as well because I haven't watched SmackDown in the past, like, two, three weeks maybe. That's not by, you know, me not wanting to. It's just I'm always busy Friday nights, and I always forget to set my DVR <coughs> set my DVR to record SmackDown. So I haven't been seeing what's going on, so I didn't even know they had a match. Uh, Mark Henry versus Tommy Dreamer for the ECW Championship. Mark Henry wins. I mean, who didn't see that coming? Um, the feed kicked back on during the Jericho Michaels match. It's on the middle, so like I said, I still can't... I still don't know what's, what happened near the beginning or whatever. I saw that Jericho was pretty much in control. He got Michaels busted open, I think with an elbow, and he was beating Michaels down so bad that they had to stop the match, and they were stalling really bad. Uh, they helped Michaels to the back. He was all bloody and stuff. I was actually glad to see them. I'd rather seen Jericho get the pin and not you know, just stop the match, but it's good to see Michaels actually get beaten down, because we've seen him time and time again, I mean, he's my favorite wrestler, and I can talk about this, I've seen him get beat down time and time again, and all of a sudden, kicks right back in and wins the match, like, you know, you gotta stop all that, I know he's a heartbreak kid, but come on, uh, so, you know, that was, from what I saw, it was okay, but I need to see the whole thing to understand what was going on, we'll probably see them in a match at, uh, SummerSlam, don't know what type of match it can be. Maybe by this. Maybe like a. I don't think a last man standing because we just saw that. Same thing with Texas Death Match. It's pretty much similar. Uh, Hell in a Cell. Don't see that Cage Match. We already saw that. I'm thinking. I wouldn't mind. I would. I would love to see a uh, 30 minute Iron Man between these two because I think they can really go. But uh, there's no telling. Like I said, we'll probably see a special match going on. So look forward to that. Michelle McCool versus Natalia for the WWE Divas title match or the titles championship. I didn't really like this match at all. Uh, they were given no time, but honestly, I don't see why they should have been given time because they were doing nothing but submission. Not saying there's nothing wrong with submissions, but for a women's match. It's just not that fun. Uh, I think Natalia won with her little leg lock thing. I don't know what's going on. So, Yeah, yeah. Not Natalia, but Michelle McCool. I'm sorry. Michelle McCool won with her leg lock. Whatever. Didn't like it. CM Punk versus Batista for the title. The match was okay. Kane came out, got involved. He beat Batista down. The best part of it when he knocked that uh, cameraman down. He, he had the bag and was shouting something. Like I said, I was in the restaurant, so I couldn't hear what he was shouting. But also, he turned around and killed the cameraman. I thought that was funny. Like I said, the match was decent. It was going okay. Uh, but nothing really special at all. Uh, CM Punk's still champion, so that's cool. So, hope I see CM Punk when I go to Raw in August as the champion. Then we go to JBL versus John Cena in the parking lot brawl, which I thought had already happened, which I was kind of upset that I missed, but it happened here, so I was like, yes. Um, this match, it, it wasn't the best match, but it was entertaining. I can say that I was entertained by this. Um, 
there was you know the good use of the cars and everything and JBL setting the car on fire and Cena ramming the uh, ramming the what do you call it forklift in the car taking the car to the outside and them fighting it not outside but inside the arena you know them wrestling on it and I think Cena got thrown on the car I'm not sure but uh like I said it was it was entertaining for uh you know for what it was which is a parking lot brawl I was thinking more of a street fight but that, that's fine like I said it was and it, it is kind of cool to see JBL finally get a win over J uh JBL finally getting a win over Cena on pay-per-view, which is good. And then we went to the main event, Edge versus Triple H. The match was okay. Uh, I didn't... Well, the finish... Uh, it was funny how... I don't know this chick's name. I don't know she's black. And she looks okay, but she got a big forehead. She came down, grabbed the title for some reason. She was looking like she was giving it to Edge. Giving it to Edge. She looked like she was going to toss... Toss it to Edge. She looked like she was going to hand the belt to Edge. But I don't know why, because the referee was looking right at her. Then, all of a sudden, she turns around, and Vicky comes with this crazy forearm. And the whole place popped. I popped a little bit. I was like, oh, that was funny. Uh, they get in the ring, start tangling. And all of a sudden, Edge delivers a spear to... Not, not on purpose, but delivers a spear to Vicky, which is pretty funny. I, I burst out laughing. Triple H hits the pedigree and gets the win. Like I said, the match was okay. Uh, I think they could have done it much better. Overall, from what I saw, this pay-per-view was not really that good. Uh, like I said, I'm going to watch the full thing. Maybe I'll do a full review, but I really doubt it. Just know that I really didn't like it. Hopefully, the Matt Hardy show and Benjamin match is good to raise this up a little bit. But for right now, just wasn't my type of pay-per-view. All right, which brings me on to maybe one of the reasons why I didn't enjoy this pay-per-view so much. And that is this weekend, of course, the opening of the, one of the most anticipated movies in my lifetime, The Dark Knight. Let me just say this. For everything that the critics and the people reviewing and the movie studios, everything that was said about this film, about how, you know, it was a great film, it, it just it doesn't do it justice. This movie is beyond great. This movie is beyond the Batman series. It's beyond Heath Ledger performance. It is so good. I'm telling you, I sat there for those two and a half hours just with my mouth open like what am I watching this is something amazing it had comedy plenty of action crazy drama in it um god like I said this I, I can't it, it's the movie's so legit it's so good um all I can say is if you haven't seen it yet if you have seen it like myself this week if you find a day where you have a free three hours just go see this film that's all I can say go see this film it is so worth it uh, I plan on going to see it again right now I plan on going to see it two more times um, me being the uh, non-punctual self I we got there kinda late and I look up into the, the uh, you know I went into the theater and look up into the the, the seats and psh, place was packed uh, and this was at freaking 4.30 in the afternoon so yeah uh, we had to sit in the front which sucks so I'm leaning back the whole time so I gotta go see it again I gotta sit back and be able to see the whole thing but like I said I had a blast 10 out of 10 this movie is this movie is so good I'm telling you I cannot wait for the blu-ray to come out I gotta buy it like I said just if you have 3 hours this week just go see it Go see it. You will not regret. You know, will not regret it. It's not much being said. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. That's why I put no spoilers on here. I just want you to know that this movie is so good. Uh, also, Affliction. If you can catch that, that was really good. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll check out Great American Bash again. See what I think about it. But Dark Knight is the truth. You definitely want to see it. Uh it's just nothing better out right now I just if you see it send me a message tell me what you think about it I'm going to see it again that's all I know instant classic 8 out